Fred here, welcome back to the Gear Obsession channel. In this episode, I will be doing a review of the As Seen on TV Easy Eyes keyboard. You really need to stay tuned for this. Now, I bet you all want to know how Carson, the new dog, is doing. He's uh, down here taking a nap. I'll, I'll throw in a couple of shots here near the end. Um, let's go ahead and talk about the Easy Eye keyboard or Easy Eyes keyboard. You're going to see these in a lot of commercials as seen on TV. They show a elderly person who has a hard time seeing, uh, easily typing away, um, actually sort of not touch typing, but, you know, looking at the keys and typing. Um, those really make me laugh. But anyway, here is the keyboard. It's very light and you know it's it has that very cheap very cheap feeling to it it is definitely most definitely made in china and um the the actually it comes with a a pretty long cord not too bad i also see that it has holes in the bottom so if you spill something um the liquid will pass right through and you can keep on typing and that all is um the good <laughs> now it does have some legs on the bottom it sort of helps it angle up it only has one angle it's either flat or up there's no in between so I'm gonna go ahead and plug this in it's a USB and we'll go ahead and plug this into the computer and you can see it's automatically recognized I think with Windows XP Vista and uh, Windows 7 it will just automatically you don't be recognized as a standard keyboard you don't have to mess with any software or drivers it doesn't come with a disk or instructions or nothing it's just a box with the keyboard now this is not a multimedia keyboard it does not have volume controls or or play and stop or things like that it's your standard keyboard and it has some LEDs for your caps lock and funny that you have these giant keys and letters and yet such tiny little LEDs for your caps lock and thumbs lock and it is almost impossible to read that so why I don't understand why they didn't make a, a very clear n number for the number lock on there and the LED so small so that's sort of stupid uh, you'll you will notice that it's very easy to see and well talk about the writing on these keys here in a second but it is high contrast it does what it's advertising to do is that it's very easy to see so I'm gonna go ahead and type just a little bit on here and sort of give you a a description of how it feels now if you're in the gaming keyboard you're gonna like immediately want to throw this thing out the window and it, it's a very quiet keyboard but the problem is that it's about the mushiest feeling keyboard I've ever felt in my life. There is no bottoming out of these keys. It just feels like you're pressing on a balloon or a, a marshmallow or something. It's just extremely mushy. And, you know, you want to make sure that you're... I mean, it's hard to describe. You want to make sure that you're pressing it and then you're watching to make sure that it's actually typing something. Because there's no tactile feeling to this keyboard at all so if you're a touch typist just tag it up this is not for you um, but really that's not the target audience is for people who are hard to see now fortunately you know if you are a touch typist the J key and the F key do have the, the little notch on there so you can get your hand position automatically I am not a touch typist I sort of am in between um, looking and typing but this just feels terrible it, it's just a terrible feeling keyboard. Now this thing does cost $15, so it's relatively inexpensive, but uh, I, I'm probably telling you that it's not even worth the $15. Um, the next thing that I did is I went ahead and went online and looked at some reviews. I just typed in Easy Eyes Keyboard and Reviews, and they uh, people are really pissed off about this. I mean, really, really pissed off. You try to get a refund, you're lucky to get half your money back. Um, the glow-in-the-dark version costs more, and it really doesn't work very well. Um, it, I mean, 
most of the reviews that people had on this were between one and two out of five, which be um, one to four out of ten for my rating. And personally, I would rate this probably like a, a, a two out of ten at, at the very best. Now, another complaint that folks have about this is that the the black writing on these yellow keys come off relatively quickly, and um, the build quality is not that great. If I'm gonna give you a close up of this F9 key, and you can see that the, there's some mold ejection residue left right there on the F9 key. You see that? You know they didn't clean that up very well. Um, there's some other keys that have some very slight things left but not really that bad now with another thing I noticed is and, and another complaint was that the spacing was incorrect on the keys when I line it up on here it looks a little bit bigger than my you know I'll spread out just a little bit bigger than my other keyboard um, I don't have too many standard keyboards laying around but um, it does seem to be slightly bigger than all the keyboards that I have laying around here Let's see. Yep. <laughs> so, again, if you're a touch typist, it's going to screw your life up pretty good. Now, if you are looking for a high contrast keyboard, there are other ones out there. They're going to cost you a little more. I remember seeing one at my uh, local exchange on base, made by Maxell. It was $20. Um, it definitely feels better than this. I went ahead and took it out of the box and felt it. And there's so many others, and you really, uh, I want to really point point you away from this piece of garbage. So, what, I, what I'm going to do with it is, I'm going to get my $15 out of this and have some fun with it. There's a, a gentleman at work who just had a grandkid, so they're officially a grandpa. So, I'm going to uh, switch out his keyboard to this. So... He, he's a grandpa. <laughs> he's gonna, you know, it's like one of those. I'll use like one of those stupid over the hill Spencer gifts, you know. So that that's probably one good thing, you know, fifteen dollars for like a, a gag gift. I would say. You see how I'm holding this with just two fingers? It's just so light. You know, or you could use it as a target. A high vis target would be good. It matches my writing on my hat. So that's it. So anyway, let's uh, see how the dog is doing. Hey, hey, Carson, Carson, where are you? Here's Carson. I'm going to go ahead and uh, pan you down so you can see how Carson's doing. He's relaxing. He is a handful. He is absolutely a handful, aren't you? He's keeping me very, very busy and my wife very, very busy. He is, uh, he's on his down right now. He is basically 100% running all over the place and then he crashes and now he's in the crash mode but he's a pretty good baby but he has a lot to learn he's still acting like a puppy he doesn't listen um, when he's outside and he has uh, sensory overload forget it you know because the he likes to eat sticks and and leaves and start choking right hmm? and you're seeing him now on his best very best behavior Aren't you? Aren't you? Let's see. Can we get your Can we get your face up? No. When When we got him, he had a cone on his head, <laughs> and and that was actually pretty funny. But I'm sure he didn't think it was very funny. And um, we took it off, and he seemed not to lick the stitches. And what I mean by stitches is when you get dogs from the pound, they um, they have to get fixed. Hey, you gonna be camera shy? You can't be camera shy here. Let me see. I'm going to bring you around just a little bit more. Sorry. Let me see if we can get them. Look at that. Who's that? Is that YouTube there? This is your debut on YouTube? Can you speak? Speak. Speak. I think he knows Kiss. Let's try Kiss. Want to give me a Kiss? Hmm? Want to give me a Kiss? <laughs> He's a riot. He does know Kiss. He does fetch very well. And um, he he knows sit when he's not in sensory over, overload. He does no sit. And um, what else does he know? He does no down. And 
Loki, um, that's really it. Oh, now you get up. <laughs> now he's gonna just stare at me. We have staring contests, I always win, which means that, uh, I guess I'm the dominant person, so he should be listening, so that, that's a good sign. Um, I did test to make sure he wasn't, um, possessive of things, like I know some dogs you'll give food to, and then if you try to take that food back, they'll get pissed off and, and growl at you and maybe bite. He doesn't do that. Same thing with his toys. Um, if you give him a toy, you can take it back. He will not bite. So he has an extremely good temperament, so... He also likes to choke. He's still choking on the leaves and sticks he ate. Well, thank you very much for joining me here at the Gear Obsession channel. I really appreciate every friend, viewer, and subscriber. And I hope Carson here also does. And he's pretty tired. Aren't you, Carson? Hmm? You tired? You're seeing something actually pretty rare. <laughs> He's uh, usually just going 100%. He's finally cocking out. <laughs> He's finally cocking out. Which is a good thing. So, again, I really do appreciate it. And I'm sorry for the short video, but he's taken up a lot of time. And hopefully, once he knows what he is supposed to do, I can go ahead and enjoy more time with you guys so hope you have a great weekend and i will see you tuesday <laughs>